Hey, what's going on guys? Comic Games here. So as you can see, I've just implemented doors and this was a bit challenging. So first of all, uh, the problem of having uh, spe specific textures for doors. So you see like uh, it's uh, kind of, we have a different picture on the X and the Y coordinate. Also, we can open and close the doors, which is also uh, interesting thing to consider and uh, yeah so I didn't actually find the way how one can implement those doors so I was handcrafting things on my own and as far as I have uh, out my, uh, as far as I have a map being represented as just a string well uh, actually I needed to uh, turn it into a list of characters uh, in order to make it mutable basically so uh, I'm not just removing the character from the map instead. So I have a specific letter representing the doors. It's the uppercase E. And in case if I have, uh, if I open the door, I bitwise end uh, this character with uh, the fifth bit and uh, it turns, uh, it turns the bit into uh, lowercase so uh, I turn the uppercase letter into the lowercase letter and in that case it's not getting rendered and it just uh, can it transparent basically so I can I can walk through and also it doesn't block the players so when the door is open it's kind of like uh, lowercase e on the map and if it's closed it's uppercase e so uh, uppercase e so every time I open or close the door I just bitwise end that bit in the ASCII character we've been uh, responsible for uh, like the state of the door of either being closed or open and uh, I'm not sure uh, so the next thing to consider is to is obviously to add the animation so the so the door is not just disappearing but smoothly shifts to the left or to the right but to be honest uh, at this particular moment I have no idea how that can be done because uh, again like if I had a graphical representation and X Y coordinates for my uh, map for my map basically I could have just shift uh, the door on the uh, two-dimensional map and this would result in shifting uh, the door in the three-dimensional map however as far as uh, it's not possible, it's just a matter of letters. Uh, I'm not sure how exactly that could be done. So instead, uh, I need to figure out if I can somehow to uh, mimic this sort of a shift. Uh, maybe in the way how I made this uh, kind of thin, uh, thin how, how I make the doors thin. So if you have, uh, have a look at the doors, you see like uh, we have the left and the right part. Uh, you know, like it's it's the wall texture already so the door is not uh, the width or the height of the wall but it's actually thin uh, well actually it's kind of like uh, it's flat but well anyway so uh, it's clear how to make uh, how can I push the door into the wall right so I just uh, increase the the X coordinate, coordinate where the ray hits, hits the wall so just uh, make it like plus 32 pixels that's the half half of the tile size and if I if I can come up with a sort of a similar trick for the horizontal shift and then somehow uh, reinvent the wheel and try to figure out how to make this uh, like frame by frame in that case uh, the door animation might be possible otherwise uh, yeah, uh, probably that would have been left as is so yeah we'll see how it goes uh, yeah that's it from my side thanks for watching until the next time and take care